Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss few examples. Okay. So we will have some complex valued function. Okay. And we have to find their singularities as well as we have to find residue at those singularities. So let me write a given function first. We have f of z is equal to z square e raised to 1 by z. So singularity or a singular point that means a point where denominator will be 0. But see this function does not have any denominator. But this e raised to 1 by z there is some denominator in a power. It will be 0 if z is equal to 0. If I put z is equal to 0 this power will be in, uh, in power we will have 0 in denominator. So we say it's a singularity or a singular point. So let me clearly mention. Okay. So here z is equal to 0 is a singular point. Since if I put z is equal to 0, we get a 0 in denominator and function would be analytic. See actually the question is determine the type of singularity. We have to find the type. Which type of singularity is this one, right? So there are main four types of singularities. First, isolated essential singularity, pole, removable singularity and non-isolated essential singularity. Out of these four, three singularities we can easily find with the help of Lorentz series expansion. So here also I will try to expand in the form of Lorentz series, right? See, uh, let us write the f of z first. f of z, z square e raised to 1 by z. So now how to find Lorentz series expansion? So here we try to find out the standard series. If you have sin z, if you have cos z, if you have e raised to z or e raised to something, they have some standard expansion so we can use them. So here we have exponential function. We are familiar with its standard expansion. 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial, z cube by 3 factorial, right? And so on. So this is a expansion of e raised to z. Simply at a place of z, we have 1 by z here. Okay, so I can also expand e raised to 1 by z in the same way. Just I should replace z by 1 by z. Let us see what will happen. So z square, okay, I'm writing the expansion 1 plus we should replace z by what? 1 by z. 1 by z, okay, it will be in denominator, no? 1 by 2 factorial z square, 1 by 3 factorial z cube, I agree, plus and so on, right? Plus and so on. Now we have to solve the bracket, that means I will multiply each term of this bracket by z square. z square into 1, z square, z square into 1 by z, z square by z z square into this one, z square by 2 factorial z square, z square into this one, z square, my mistake, huh? z square by 3 factorial z cube and so on, z square, let us cancel out, z z will get cancelled, here z square we can cancel, so 1 by 2 factorial that means 1 by 2 plus z square z square cancel. 3 factorial that means 3 into 2 into 1 which is 6 z plus and so on okay so after that we will find out the real part and analytic part so this is Lorentz series expansion real part that means a part where z will be at numerator this is the real part the real note analytic part right and uh, principal part, principal part that means a part where the z will be a denominator. So this is a principal part. Okay. So this principal part is so much crucial for us. With the help of principal part, we determine the type of singularity, right? If principal part having infinitely many terms, we call it as isolated essential singularity. If the principal part having finitely many terms, 2, 3, 4 like that. So we say it's a pole of order n. If there is no any principal part, there is no any term in a principal part, then we call it as a removable singularity. So here in a principal part, how many terms are there? Infinitely many terms are there. It is not terminating anywhere. So let me mention here, principal part of 
Lorentz expansion at infinite terms okay so infinite terms so if the Lorentz expansion has infinite terms we call it as isolated essential singularity therefore z is equal to 0 is isolated essential singularity so here we are not getting pole getting not getting pole we are getting isolated essential singularity our next task is to find corresponding residue so let us find residue so residue of f of z at this point z is equal to 0 so in previous videos we have already seen okay uh, let me remove this part it is not required no we will have some more space to write okay in previous videos we have already seen what is residue and how to calculate actually residue has a definition which is uh, defined with the help of Lorentz series expansion but see if you have a pole we have very simple formula two simple formulas to calculate residue but see here we are not getting pole we are getting isolated essential singularity so i will follow the definition of residue the definition of residue says residue is nothing but b1 now what is b1 b1 means coefficient in a Lorentz series expansion coefficient of 1 by z minus z naught so this is the definition of b1 in a Lorentz series expansion but see we are finding series about 0 so my z naught is 0 so that means simply we can say it's a coefficient of 1 by z so let us find what is coefficient of 1 by z coefficient of 1 by z is 1 by 6 so that's why the residue is 1 by 6 so in this way we calculated residue of f of z okay so uh, make a screenshot of it and then we will go for the second function so let us discuss this second example okay uh, what will i do i will write the given function first we have f of z we call it as f of z e raised to minus 1 upon z minus 1 squared. this is a given function we have to find a singular point that means the point where function is not analytic generally what we say if any particular point denominator is 0 then that will be a singular point here this function has no any denominator but obviously in a power we have some denominator if i put z is equal to 1 1 minus 1 0 and denominator will be 0 that means z is equal to 1 creates a problem so i will say it's a singular point it is creating 0 and denominator so they are clearly z is equal to 1 is a singular point but they have asked to identify the type okay we have to find the type of singularity there are four types of singularities isolated essential singularity pole and next removable singularity and non-isolated essential singularity okay uh, out of these four three types we can identify with the help of Lorentz series expansion so here also i will find the Lorentz series expansion of this function let me write f of z now f of z e raised to minus 1 upon z minus 1 square okay so uh, here we have very standard function e raised to z just like last example its expansion is 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial z cube by 3 factorial and so on okay so but at a, sorry, sorry 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 we have a minus sign here no if you have a minus sign here sign will be alternate plus and minus okay so we have a sign like this okay so now what will i do i will find the expansion of this function also just at a place of z we have 1 upon z minus 1 square okay let us see what will happen 1 will be as it is minus at a place of z what we have 1 upon z minus 1 square plus sign is there 2 factorial uh, let me write in this way 2 factorial z square it's square getting it's square so it's square it is in denominator so it will be 1 upon z minus 1 square already square is there and one more square we are taking that means raised to 4 minus 1 by 3 factorial it will be in denominator 
so 1 upon its cube already we have square and taking its cube that means raised to 6 z minus 1 raised to 6 let me write properly 1 minus 1 upon z minus 1 square plus 2 factorial means 2 no 2 z minus 1 raised to 4 it is 3 factorial means 6 z minus 1 raised to 6 okay and so on so let me remove this one okay see uh, let actually this is a Lorentz series expansion and it is made up of two parts principal part and analytic part okay the principal part is so much important for us analytic part means what where the bracket lies at numerator so and principal part where the bracket lies in denominator so in all these terms bracket lies in denominator so this is our principal part and this is our analytic part so if the principal part has infinitely many terms then we call it as isolated essential singularity just like a last example okay so here also there are infinitely many terms that principal part is not terminating anywhere so we say it is a isolated essential singularity okay so let me clearly mention principal part of Lorentz expansion has infinitely many terms. So, therefore, singular point 1, z is equal to 1, is isolated essential singularity some people call it as simply essential singularity but actually it is isolated essential singularity the next task is to find residue okay let me write residue f of z at z is equal to 1 actually its residue means b1 coefficient of 1 upon z minus z naught in a Lorentz expansion but see uh, if z naught is a pole we have a separate formula to calculate residue we are not getting pole here we are getting sing isolated essential singularity so i will follow the definition the definition says residue is nothing but b1 which is nothing but coefficient of 1 upon z minus z naught in lorentz expansion what is our z naught 1 z naught is what 1 so that means coefficient of 1 upon z minus 1 so let us find z minus 1 uh, in a Lorentz expansion see z 1 upon z minus 1 is not there it is directly starting from power 2 power 4 power 6 that means the bracket has only even powers there is no any odd powers it means their coefficients are 0 the terms having odd power are not appearing here that means their coefficients are 0 so 1 upon z minus 1 is not there that means its coefficient is 0. So, the residue of f of z is 0 here. Okay. Just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go for the next example. So, let us discuss this third example. Okay. What is it? Sin z upon z is to 6. Let me write. Let me call it as f of z. Hmm. f of z is sin z upon z is to 6. So maybe, uh, see, first of all, what we have to do, we have to find a type of singularity. Four types of singularities are there mainly. Hmm? First, removable singularity, isolated essential singularity, and non-isolated essential singularity, and last one, pole, pole. So who have already watched my previous videos and they are understood the previous examples, they can easily say, maybe they will say that uh, here is sir, it's very simple at 0 we are getting 0 at denominator that means it's a singular point point and having power 6 so it's a pole of order 6 but wait if i put z is equal to 0 in denominator and if i put simultaneously 0 in at numerator sin 0 is 0 that means if you put z is equal to 0 it is creating 0 upon 0 form if you put z is equal to 0 getting and it is not defined so that's why we cannot conclude directly but definitely z is equal to 0 is a singular point 
clearly z is equal to 0 is a singular point so it's a singular point definitely so we have to find the type we cannot say directly it's a pole okay we will find out and we cannot predict directly its order also so what will i do i will uh, take the help of lorentz series expansion i will find out its lorentz series expansion and then we will decide it is pole or it is isolated essential singularity or what so let me write f of z okay i am expressing in this way 1 upon z is to 6 into sin z having the same meaning just it, it will be easy to calculate that's why so you know that when you have any standard function okay we use its series expansion okay so sin z is a standard function we are familiar with its series i'm writing here z minus z cube by 3 factorial z raise to 5 by 5 factorial z raise to 7 by 7 factorial and so on right so on. see uh, now what will i do i will take product i will solve this bracket i will multiply each term of this bracket by 1 by z raise to 6 so it will be z upon z raise to 6 minus z cube upon 3 factorial z is to 6 z is to 5 upon 5 factorial z is to 6 z is to 7 upon 7 factorial z is to 6 and so on so let us start our favorite task cancel out the terms right z z cancel 1 upon z is to 5 z cube z cube cancel 1 upon 3 factorial z cube uh, here z is to 5 will get cancel 1 upon 5 factorial z agree minus z raised to 6 z raised to 6 cancel that means z upon 7 factorial right okay let me remove this part we got it we got the Lorentz series expansion after that we try to find what is the principal part and what is analytic part principal part that means where the z appears at denominator z appears denominator that means this one and analytic part that means where the z appears at numerator in all these terms we are getting z at numerator and its powers also analytic part so principal part is very important for us okay by observing it we decide which type of singularity is this one if it has finite number of terms we say it's a pole how many terms are there three that means definitely it's a pole so therefore therefore z is equal to 0 is a pole of order okay so if it is a pole we have to find its order also what is the highest power of z here 5 so that's why it's a pole of order 5 so in this way we found out the type of singularity the next task is to find residue let me write residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 if you have a pole we have very simple formula to calculate residue get it? if it is a pole and fortunately we have got a pole we can use the formula to calculate residue but see i will go for the definition since in a definition Lorentz series is involved and we have already calculated Lorentz series so what is uh, definition says the residue of f of z is simply b1 that means coefficient of 1 upon z minus z naught our z naught is 0 z minus 0 which is z coefficient of 1 by z what is coefficient of 1 by z here 1 upon 5 factorial so this is required residue 1 upon 5 factorial means what 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right uh, so it will be 20 60 120 right okay correct no yes so this is required residue okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video